Whoa! It's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth. I'm gonna go get my shred on today. But uh I got a story to tell. So I was uh last night I was watching this thing about Skinwalker Ranch. And then I was like, oh yeah, skinwalkers are gnarly. And then I watched this uh, interview with this crazy Navajo chief about the skinwalkers. And if you don't know what skinwalkers are, skinwalkers are people that take on the form of an animal to do their magic. It's sort of black magic thing, so they're pretty prevalent in the... Uh, Southwest of America, around the Navajo kind of zone, and uh, I went to school in Flagstaff, Arizona, right? Which is right up in that zone. So, this is the night I saw the skinwalker. I had been, uh, we did like a spring break trip where we went up to, uh, Lake Powell and rented a houseboat because I knew a bunch of kids from school who lived in Page, Arizona, and we had a super bro deal on a houseboat for a week. So we went up and we went houseboating, a whole group of us, and uh, we were all eating a bunch of peyote and doing the desert thing. And so the peyote was pretty radical, right? I'll just say this one thing. I remember. This friend of ours, she walked out in the desert all naked with her other buddy. And they the desert's red. I mean, red as red could be. And they came back with the red arrowhead that they had found magically. They said it called them. They found this crazy arrowhead. Anyhow, it was a pretty classic moment. These naked girls walking around in the red desert because we were way up on like a bluff doing our thing. Anyway, so uh, this whole trip ends and I'm rolling back to Flagstaff from Page, Arizona with this friend of mine from the dorms and he had been on doing the same thing I was doing and uh, we were in the peyote zone for like days. It just didn't end. It was like, it was on. So we're driving back to Flagstaff and it's like a two hour drive, I'd say. And we're cruising and all of a sudden the skinwalker was running next to the car. Now the weird thing with the skinwalkers is they take on the animal form, but they they don't take it on completely. It's almost like they're wearing like the skin, but they're not. And they're, so this, we're cruising and the skinwalker's running next to the car, dude. Full running with the skin and the whole thing. And like, me and my bro, we're pretty like, I don't know in the zone I guess it didn't even shock us but it did you know it was so surreal but so part of the deal and we were like what oh, the skinwalker how gnarly is that like 10 minutes later we get pulled over by a uh, Arizona State Trooper and he pulls us over and he gets us in the back of the, the car, the squad car. And me and my bro are like, we're done because my bro has got like a whole stash of weed stuffed up where the gear shifter is underneath the thing. So this state trooper proceeds to like tear the car apart. And we can see them from our car digging up under the panels and the whole thing. And we're like, we're done. I got like paraphernalia pieces in my pockets. And he puts everything back in the car. 
comes back, talks to us, and we're like kind of out of it. We just figure we're done. He comes back. He strips the car again. He's sitting in the driver's seat again, digging up under the thing and the whole deal. And we're like, we're done. Does it, repeats it one last time. So three times. We're in the back of the squad car for a solid hour and a half. And me and my bro are talking about the skinwalker and how radical that was and just we don't even care. We're stoked. We're stoked to be in a squad car. Put it that way. So he comes back and he's like, look, I know you guys. I know you guys are carrying, but I can't find it. So he's like, I'm going to let you guys go, but I want you to know. It's like 60 miles between here and Flagstaff. And there's two more state troopers. So good luck. And we're like, whoa, bro. We get out of the we get out of the car and we're just like, whoa, because the cop was like laying this trip. Like, I think the skinwalker was in the area, like watching him, and the cop was hip to what was going on. He lets us roll and half like halfway between from the cop and, and flagstaff, there's this weird. I forget what the little town's called. It's basically like a gas station and four buildings in the middle of the desert. Like one of those like halfway stops spots so you can gas up and eat some food. And we're cruising and all of a sudden this dude comes running out in the middle of the street. Just flat. And with jumps in front of the car and my bro does the full like uh, slide out around the dude and floors it like this guy could drive and floors it and we had been going the speed limit from the cop till this dude and we were both like punching as fast as we could and we drove like 120 miles an hour the last like 30 miles back to Flagstaff because we knew that the, 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 the spirits were trying to get us because we had attained a certain level of knowledge out in the desert, bro. And who knows what, who knows what those chicks had really kind of, what they had found out there with those arrowheads. We'll never know. I'm sure they don't know. I don't know. But it was a pretty heavy experience. So I know that the skinwalkers exist because I've seen one. So if you don't know what a skinwalker is, go research it on uh, the internet, man. It's pretty interesting stuff. There's more going on out there than you could even imagine.